So as you may know, I like coffee and I like to make videos. And uh, I just received this little box here, third wave coffee. Basically, it's a service that delivers you coffee one time a month and you can choose how much coffee you want and how much different varieties as well. So here I've got three different coffee and I'm excited to try that out. So here we've got a Colombian coffee. A Colombian natural or not the limonade, zero simple that. And it said uh, it's terrified basically last week, so that's really good. That's a really good sign for me. Then we've got Nicaragua coffee. Un Nicaraguayen naturel aux notes de fruits de la passion, sucre de canne et arachide. So the same uh, roasting date. And then uh, Ethiopian coffee. Un Ethiopian naturel aux notes de mangue, framboise et vin de prune. So which one should we try first? Uh, I think I'm pretty interested into the Nicaragua one because of the passion fruit notes. So I'm gonna use my favorite way of making coffee which is uh, mocha pot. Seems like the kind of video I'm gonna need some background music for. So let's get to it. So for grinding, I'm going to use a setting of 12, which is what I find perfect for the mocha pot. Check this out, it's a beautiful roast. Seems looks pretty light. So obviously I'm making a mess, always happen when you shot a video at the same time. Uh, but I think it took me so long to do all the shots and transitions and stuff like this that it should be good temperature to drink right now. That's really nice, no bitterness whatsoever. I'm not sure if I can find the passion fruit. Let me get the package to uh, check a bit more. Passion fruit, cane sugar and uh, arachid, so like peanuts kind of thing. I'm not sure I can see all the notes, but also shooting the video as I was brewing, I took a lot more time for some steps. The problem when shooting a video is everything takes so much longer, including brewing coffee, which is not optimal for actually tasting it. I've made it again the next day without recording and like with the proper timings, doing it the perfect way. I can taste a bit more like of the flavor profile. I still don't find the passion fruit, but uh, I can definitely taste how it's a uh, light roast, like it's uh, pretty earthy and maybe grassy a little bit. It's got uh, a bit of acidity to it, like it's kind of sour, I like it. Uh, maybe it's a bit too light of a roast for me, but uh, that was really interesting. It's the first time I taste a coffee like this, you know? And this camera is getting kind of heavy holding it like this. They also sent me an email yesterday with a survey asking me what I liked or didn't like in the previous batch. 
that's really good because it's gonna allow them to tailor the selection for the next month. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what they're gonna come up with. That's also part of the price you pay for, you know, it's kind of expensive, but then you get a custom service like this. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that all year, but at least for a couple months to discover new coffees and know what I like better. So should you get your coffee delivered? Well, if you have a service like this where you live and you really like to taste new coffee all the time, and you also want to be guided through trying many varieties of coffee to narrow down a bit what you like the most, I think it's a great idea and might be worth the price. So that's it for today, I hope you liked this review. Uh, let me know in the comments what kind of coffee you get, where you get your coffee, and if you would subscribe to a service like this. And if you don't subscribe to Third Wave, maybe consider subscribing to this channel and putting a like on this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers! Oh, and by the way, that's a Colombian one from a House of Funk, and it's fucking delicious. And I don't say that because there's funk in the name.